My name's Liam Etterbar, fighting out of Eastbourne, East Sussex, training at Sparta MMA. My name's Colin French, training out of Centex and Team Dynamite. Been training hard for this fight, so Colin, I'll be ready, mate. Liam Etterbar, I'm so glad you took this fight. It's my first fight as well, I just want a good war. Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the Ultimate Challenge welterweight division. Now please welcome your first fighter to the ring, Liam Etebar! Our first fighter to enter the cage is Liam Etebar, 20 years of age, full of the confidence of youth, Rob, making his debut. In fact, both these men making their debut, and what a stage to make it on. Yeah, definitely. Without a doubt, you can see the smile on his face as he's making his way to the cage. He knows this is a big, big platform and he has a job to do on one of the biggest stages in European mixed martial arts. And Pierre, 20 years of age, got almost that fearlessness of youth, haven't you? I wish, I, I'm trying to remember it now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, these guys have, you know, youth on their side and, you know, they're training. This is what they want to do. They're full of it, if you know what I mean. And they're going to go in there and it's going to show. And I think that that's better for the fans because you're going to see that come out in the fighters. And Robbie, what are the, the common problems for a debutant when you're making your, your debut? What, what are the things you've got to watch for? I think, to, I think it's the anxieties and the nervousness and the fear. You know, most of these guys will feel some form of fear when they're backstage. And it's how they carry that fear into the cage. You either turn it into focus and aggression or you take it the wrong way and it shows in the nerves and the jitteriness and your technique then starts to foul you because your mind's not completely on your fire. That's very true. Some fights have actually been lost in the dressing room, if you know what I mean. Yeah, of course. That's right. Sometimes these guys can expend far too much energy as well. You know, Pierre, you've seen it many a times where guys are on the pads backstage and they've almost had their fight prior to getting in. You know, it's, it's the anxiety and the nerves pre-fight. Now let us welcome your second fighter to the ring, Colin! Big support for him here as he makes his way down. Now, Pierre, as he makes his way down here, let's not forget he's making his debut as well. How much is great to have fans, but when you're making their debut, how much pressure is on you? With any athlete, you want to be the best, whether it's your first fight or your 30th. So it's just an extreme amount of pressure. I can guarantee you, each one of these guys leading up to the fight has had a sleepless night or two. But also, as you heard there, he's got huge fan support. Will that play on his mind? Because it can work for you, but it can also work against you with the weight of expectation, surely. Sometimes you let that get into your head too much and you try too much too soon and you can blow in the first round. You want to do amazing things to show your fans that, hey, I deserve your adoration. And yeah, you can blow in the first round. I've seen that happen on a couple of occasions. It's a fascinating fight in prospect here, Liam. Etabar, 20 years of age, Colin French, 27, both men making their debut. Colin French in particular, huge support as he came to the cage. And Rob, although it's French's debut, he, a very good camp he's in. Yeah, definitely, you know, he's got some uh, good sparring partners in his corner. Be interesting to see how this goes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this bout is in the Ultimate Challenge Welterweight Division. Now let me welcome your fighter in the blue corner. He weighed in at 77 kilograms. He has a professional mixed martial arts record of one win with no losses. Fighting out of Spartan mixed martial arts, please welcome Liam Etebar. Now welcome his opponent in the red corner. He also weighed in at 77 kilograms. He is making his professional debut and fighting out of Centex and Team Dynamite. Please welcome Colin Brand. Very relaxed. I think one thing that can be said is no matter who your team is, it always helps. But at the end of the day, uh, this is not a team sport. You go in there and you're the one that's got to do the business, as you guys say.
Yes, it's a lonely sport. But as Robbie said, these two men look very focused as Grant gets them ready. Okay, here we go. You ready? You ready? Let's fight. And away they go. And the touch gloves. So Colin French in the black and white trunks, Liam Etibar in the green and black, and instantly they go to ground. And Pierre, it was all from that kick attempt that, that French caught. Yeah, the kick came a little bit slow, a little bit weak. He was able to grab it, um, and the takedown uh, was set up nicely because he caught the leg, uh, straight punch, and then took him down. So, yeah, very good takedown. Etibar forcing the takedown again and wins it. French. It, was a, it was a good recovery from Etibar, really, wasn't it, Rob? It was a very good recovery, and right now he's trying to find a, a position on the ground. But French, very, very active, looks for the armbar, doesn't quite get it. And Pierre, a frantic start, yeah. right from that takedown. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. And, and this is what you come to expect here at Ultimate Challenge. This is one of the premier uh, organizations in the world. French unable to capitalise with his legs, looking for the armbar or the triangle choke. And that's because from that initial takedown, Rob, Etebar has stayed very calm, very confident. That's right, looks very relaxed now, with French inside his guard. Etebar does a good job, turn beautifully on his legs. Over right here. Big slam, but the arm looks as though it's locked in tight. Another big slam, but Etebar keeps hold of that arm. Needs to straighten out his legs. Full sprint straight. French needs to stack them because the more he's getting pushed out, uh, it looks like that is tight. Oh my gosh. French got his elbow free. Beautiful work. That, uh, that was a real let off here for French. You thought that was in, didn't you? I, I thought that was game over. But again, like you said, he has all these people here that want to see him win. And maybe, you know, his arm is going to hurt for a couple of days, but he would not let, you know, the guys here support him down. Etibar looking for possibly a knee bar anchor as he turns to roll inwards, but takes a lot of punishment from the left, from the left hand of French. It's been real backwards and forwards here, guys, hasn't it? I mean, neither man has really dominated. It's been fascinating. Etibar still trying to work for that leg submission, but taking huge, big shots. Unanswered right now. French finding a home for his right hand. And it seems to be on Etibar's face, and it's over. Colin French pleases the crowd he brought with him as he seals victory over Liam Etibar. He's upset, but, wrong, uh, but yeah, he is so wobbly at the same time. They took effect. But Etibar looked like he knew what he was doing. He did, he did switch, and look at this, prime example. Legs in tight, knees close together, had the arm bar sunk in deep. And I'm telling you right now, any other guy would have tapped out to that. And that's, a, that's just, I mean, that's amazing. And then when the finish came, Rob, it was brutal. It was, you can see the venom in those shots, the hands coming up by, there's a lot of power in that shot as it comes down. Ladies and gentlemen, after 2 minutes 36 seconds of the first round, we have a winner due to referee stoppage from ground and pound, Colin French! And a big hand to your runner-up, Liam Etibar! Well, just then, I thought, let's just talk about the armbar quickly, because you had to pick him up and slam him twice. It looked like he had it in. No, it was really tight. I was thinking about tapping it at one point, but I just heard my mates and I thought, fuck that, I'll never leave it down, mate. Well, they were very loud in the background. What's it like fighting with that sort of noise every time you hit him, every time you picked him up, every time you go on top? They were going crazy. What's it like fighting like that? I loved it, mate. I loved every minute of it. I loved it, mate. I loved it. I'd just like to say thank you to Dean Bray. And Dan from Semtex, if it weren't for them, I wouldn't have been in there. So, and all my mates, thanks. Hell of a debut fight. Oh, and Gary, Gary from Titan, he does all my cardio and all that. Thanks to him as well. Well, there you go. Put your hands together for your winner, Colin French! Now, Colin, that was your debut. Tell me, is that your last fight or do you want to fight again? Straight away, mate. I want to fight again. I want to keep going. Do you want to see him in October? You just don't deserve it. Colin, thank you very much, your son.